the sweat on my face It's dripping in my eyes Somewhere out of place Hey everybody, Rob here from moremusicandmoreguitars.com in Evansville, Indiana, and this is my first uh, time in our new video studio here. Feeling pretty good about this. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, anyway, we're here to talk to our friend Brick Briscoe about the Fender Acoustasonic Tele. Um, Brick, how you doing? I'm great. Thanks for joining us. So um, for those of you that don't know Brick, Brick is a, a friend of More Music, uh, hangs out at the shop quite frequently. Yeah, and uh, I guess not only local musician and local uh, celebrity, but uh, <laughs> regionally, if not nationally, right? Sometimes. So tell us a little bit about before we get into the guitar. Tell us a little bit about what you have going on right now. You got the radio show. Yeah, and... so the song shows in its fifth year. I've been very lucky. More music's been with me since the beginning, and uh, but right now the big project I'm working on is uh, season 2.1 of the television show Any Road. And um, that should be airing in uh, in January. Where can on PBS, people check that? WNIN okay. and also on PBS.org. And a lot of the past episodes are about to go up on uh, YouTube uh, wow. through your website. So oh, it's going to awesome. be kind of okay. fun for you to watch. Well, cool. Well, thanks for taking the time with yeah. us today. So we're back to the uh, Fender Acoustasonic. You have the Telecaster. They also since have brought out the Stratocaster version, which is a slightly different yeah. animal. Um, but this is a guitar that we keep in stock and uh, we've seen really good success with. Um, but I feel it's one of those guitars when I talk to customers that some folks out there that maybe still don't quite understand what it is. You know, Fender has come out with guitars that look like this in the past that maybe haven't been received very well. So I think there's some people that maybe are not quite sure what this is or how they could fit it into their uh, everyday use. So what I wanted to do today is just kind of see how you're using it and what what brought you to this guitar? What made you choose this guitar? Well, I'm a Fender guy first off. I mean, my Strat is my life, literally. I, you know, it's one of those things that you just grab, and I know where I am on the mm -hmm. neck. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw this in the shop, mm -hmm. and I talked to the guys out there. I go, hey, um, what do you think? Is this, is this me? Before I even plugged it in. Yeah. And I got mixed emotions from him, and uh, I knew I liked it. So I, I came back a couple weeks later and plugged it in. I go, yeah, I really like this thing. Yeah. And, and what I liked about it, Frankly, is it looks cool as heck. I mean, you it know, it's, cool. it's a Fender. The yeah. neck is, you know, close my eyes. I know where I am. This is yeah. a Fender neck. Yeah. Uh, but really, what I liked about it is, I, I, I don't like acoustic guitars, but I love acoustic guitar. Right. I love and, the, and this is well, that's one thing you kind of have to understand about this guitar is that it and 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 how you come up with your expectations of what yeah. you think you're going to hear with this thing because again, a this is not an acoustic guitar. This is not meant to, to replace no. a full body no. acoustic instrument. This but in is a rock and roll different. setting, yeah. on stage, this is an acoustic guitar. Right. It's a little better. It just it's just really so fat. I mean it just I mean it just sounds incredible. So it's got the look and the feel that better. you're yeah. used to in more That's of right. an electric guitar. And it weighs nothing. It weighs nothing. It's um, just incredible but gives you a lot of opportunities for different types of sounds. Yeah, I mean, I'm shocked how many sounds are in here. You know, I, I, when I got this, I was uh, working on a film score, and they wanted a more authentic sound. They wanted some earthy instruments like mandolin and acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can do that. I've got this. They didn't think that. I, I wrote all these songs for it, and they listened to it, and they said, oh, yeah, that's exactly what, what we were looking for. And what's funny, it was all in this. It wasn't on any of the acoustics we had laying around. I did it all in this, and nobody knew it wasn't a, yeah. an acoustic. So this guitar has the look and feel of an electric guitar, yeah. which is something that you're used to on stage. Very but, much. But from a, from a what's going on under the hood kind of thing, there's, Defender's done a lot to digitally create the sounds of real acoustic guitars being mic'd in the studio and programmed it basically into this guitar and those are the kinds of sounds you can get out of this. Yeah, it's shocking. Like like I said, on my on my new record there's a lot of songs that have acoustic on them mm -hmm. and I did it all on this. Yeah. And I had acoustic guitars in the room and I, I'd be shocked if you can tell that it's not you know, mm -hmm. one of my seagulls or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it sounds incredible. And I, I do do some things. Uh, you know, I'll record it like this, but at the same time, I'll put a mic right on this hole yeah. to get that, Just to get that authenticity yeah, of right, my sure. fingers. Yeah. And this sound hole, I mean, it sounds silly, you know, just like like this, but when you mic it in yeah. conjunction with this, right. it's pretty, pretty awesome. Wow. It's very okay. flexible, and you do that across all the settings. 
and it gives you this incredible rich warmth as you mix across the strumming part and the electronic sound of the acoustic guitar they've created. Nice. So this isn't necessarily your main guitar on stage. You use. You know, it's funny. Right after I got it, yeah. we had a gig in Chicago, and it's my favorite rock and roll club where we throw down and all this stuff, and our bassist, Corey, his dad got sick and couldn't go with us. And so Alan Clark and I went to Chicago to play this gig, and I was mm -hmm. opening for a band I just admired like crazy. And it was just going to be us as a duo. Mm -hmm. I said, well, we got to do something different because they're expecting the whole thing. And I, I took this guitar mm -hmm. only. Wow. And it had all the sounds in it. And I thought we were going to do this really low-key version of all my <laughs> stuff. But no, it's... I've got the yeah. telly sound in there. Or if we really needed it, it's... Yeah. You know, it's got it. Yeah. And we threw down the whole night. And honestly, I don't know, this weighs like a pound. I don't know what this thing weighs. I'm used to carrying these right. heavy guitars. And yeah. after that gig, I was like, oh, I'm ready to dance. You know, it was just <laughs> awesome. It, yeah. was, it was just great. And it, it's very, very flexible. So tell me a little bit about how you run the guitar. You brought the amp with you today that you use on stage, right? Yeah, I mean, this, this is, what is you the, the amp into. I use everywhere I go, pretty much, yeah. uh, unless uh, they don't have it where I'm going. But mm -hmm. most, most cool clubs have this, this amp. But um, I just go direct. Yeah. I put a little reverb on here. This, this guitar has a lot, of, a lot of tone flexibility, even just like this, you know. Or I can hit it harder. And it, it has that mixture of that electric sound versus a, a, a great acoustic guitar. And I, I would not hesitate to play entire shows, entire band shows with only this guitar. So someone who's maybe a gigging musician who needs a guitar that kind of covers a lot of ground. Yeah, you know, it's easy to travel with. You know, yeah. the little gig bag it comes with, or it fits in your my dual mono bag with a Strat on the other side, and it's, uh, it's perfect. So do you feel you're kind of using all the different sound options out of this guitar, or do you favor kind of a couple I have, of different... I have four I use. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just because uh, that's what I recorded the, my, my record with. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that I'm just used to it. Can you kind of... Do you, do you mind just yeah. taking a second to kind of run us through what those four are? Yeah, or? I use this one for really strumming stuff. And it, that's basically the first setting, I think, on it, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's it. And, uh, you know, go back to here, use this one, which is even more earthy. Yeah. That's just beautiful, if mm -hmm. you ask me. Mm -hmm. It could be anything. And then, I use this one, which is just this pickup. Yeah. That's a tally to me. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, it's really, really cool. And then when we want to rock, And it rings out really well. I mean, it, I'm not going to say that it sustains like a, a Strat or a Les Paul, because yeah. it doesn't. Right. But it has its own character. It's almost like a, a Rickenbacker when you get it really turned up loud. You can feel the, the you can feel it vibrate a little bit, and, and that's really cool. Nice. Well, it sounds like just a, a great versatile instrument again for somebody who's a gigging musician or maybe recording at home that just needs one guitar that can kind of give them yeah, a lot sure. of options from from. From electric to acoustic and somewhere in between even. Yeah, I think you, you'll be shocked if you really put it through its paces. I, I encourage you to come play it yeah. and sit down, even with an acoustic amp. I don't use an acoustic amp, but if you right. put it through an acoustic amp, you'll really hear the, that texture that it right. can bring. And yeah, yeah. I could see some troubadour going to coffee houses all over the world just with this and a little Yeah, and that's, fishman. you know, the way you're using it may not be the way yeah. someone else out there is using it. Yeah, or, I think know, people are missing that point, yeah, you know. Yeah. They see it and they go, oh, well, they're trying to make this one thing. But no, no it's, it's so not. many it's, things. It's, it's, it's so many things to so many different players. And I think, again, that was, and I appreciate you coming in, that was the, the, the whole idea behind bringing you in today and just... Here's one person using mm -hmm. the guitar and how they're using it. You know, yeah. that might spark some ideas. The shredder's going to use it different than I Right. Use it. But the, the, the cool yeah. is, the thing is, a shredder can still use yeah, this guitar absolutely. and shred with it. Absolutely. Or if you want to get something that's really more uh, authentic acoustic, this guitar does that too. It absolutely does. Wow. Well, again, I appreciate you coming in and joining us today, taking the time out of your busy schedule. Oh. <laughs> you need one of these. Yeah. So again, I'm Rob Arnold from uh, More Music here in Evansville, Indiana, moreguitars.com. Joining us was Brick Briscoe today. I appreciate you spending some time with us. Make sure you're checking out all of our videos on YouTube. And if you need anything, we're here to help you. Just give us a call, send us a text message, an email, 
uh, carrier pigeon, whatever, whatever it takes. We're here to answer your questions. Thanks for joining us.